same technique fatty acid uh, methyl ester okay what is done in that case fatty acid methyl ester here you have to extract the fatty acid from the bacteria the whole fatty acid extraction and then the fatty acids have to be converted to their methyl derivatives first you isolate the fatty acid of a bacterium fatty acid go for methylation so they will become methylated methylated derivatives of fatty acids why do you methylate to make them volatile because fatty acids cannot be subjected to gas chromatography so before after that you have to go for gas chromatography gc but you can di cannot directly go to gc with the fatty acids because they are non volatile gas chromatography uh, needs to be needs the substance to be converted into gas it has to be in a volatile form so for that purpose this methylation was done now you go for gc you will get a result somewhat like this there will be many curves like this this is gas chromatogram and you have to compare this chromatogram with the database because this this peaks this peaks are actually for some fatty acid all of these peaks are they represent some of the fatty acid so what is the composition of the fatty acid of a particular bacterium you can determine by this method this will also help you to match with the known organism similar organism to reach up to maybe species level it will help you along with the 16 rdna sequence analysis okay